Hey everyone, it's Paula with Grey Matters Blog and I am here today to show you what it's like to plan a week with me. So I am using my Hobonichi Cousin in A5 and this is what a weekly spread in the Hobonichi Cousin looks like when it is fairly blank. You can see that I have a couple things noted here and up at the top. Those are some of the pre-planning things that I do um, when I'm trying to plan my week ahead of time. So these are events that I knew were gonna happen so I put them in here in advance. Um, other than that, this is fairly empty, it's fairly new, it's ready for us to attack. But before I go into that, I want to show you what a finish week will look like. So, I have one marked off for us. I picked this week because this is basically what a regular week looks like for me. Um, as you can see, I can also show you my system here. I start off with um, drawing a manual line across at the 8 o'clock mark down here. And this top panel from about like... 5 a.m. to 7 or 8 p.m. This is where I plan all of my school stuff. So my academic schedule is here, the stuff that's going on for the week is there. So you can see that I have a bunch of different colors up here, mostly basics, blue, black, and red. So the red denotes that I have an exam coming up or an exam on that day. Then if you look, the black are the actual names of the classes and they're actually placed in order um, on the timeline here. The blue underneath each header, like here and here and here, those are the things that are going on in each class that day, so things that I would need to prepare for ahead of time, things I would need to read. And then if you look um, and see the green, that just denotes like a holiday or a class that was canceled. The special thing that I like about my weekly setup is the fact that I have these panels set up. And I really got this idea from Yukiko Sakamura on another YouTube channel. She's fantastic. If you guys haven't seen her already, you should. Um, so I take this side panel and I place a bunch of uh, headings in it. So I have priorities. These are things that I have to get done within the week. Then I have secondaries, which have a more futuristic timeline, but are still important enough that if I can get them done early, it would be better. Then I have this thing called adulting. So this is where I put things like do groceries or pay the bills or um, need to do chores or make sure you have dishwashing liquid, things like that. So those are just reminders for myself to be a grown up. And then for fun is something I also took from Yukiko Sakamura. She has this like really cute section also called for fun where it's just stuff that she does, from what I understand, it's just stuff that she does that's like unrelated to school or work and stuff that she does to kind of I guess decompress after a long day so this is where I would list like fill my YouTube channel or go look up a blog post or read on the new Midori blue travelers notebook things like that then you can see as you go across on this bottom panel this is where I place my personal appointments for the week so example I have um, a dinner scheduled for that Wednesday I have an outing for that Friday night and then on the side panel over here um, I have this segment called keep in mind and that's just for things like for example that if I've ordered or if I have due dates coming up or I have shipments coming in or I need to follow something up that is where I put that okay so now that we got that settled, why don't we go into planning my week? So here we go. Flipping back to our empty week, you can see I have each week marked off with a kind of book dart. Um, I can show those to you in another video when I film all my accessories. But the tools that I'm using to plan today are my forever metal ruler that I love. Then I have my Sarasa Clip-In Point 4, which I like to write into my bullet journal with. I have my Uniball Signo DX in Point 3.8, which I also love. And this week I'm trying something new. I have a mild liner in gray. I'm just gonna see if I can do a blocks of times in this since it's exam week. So this week is gonna be a little less busy because it is an exam week. So most of my days are just filled with tests, which are easy to block out and easy to schedule, which is why I decided to start off this plan with me doing that. So today is Monday. I like to plan on Sunday nights, but because I was studying yesterday, I didn't get to do that. So we're gonna start our planning off on a Monday and let's get started. So today, you can see that it has shifting exams. This means that I'm taking basically what is midterms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block out the time that I had an exam in this gray. So I haven't decided if I wanna go straight down or across, but we'll try across this week. So I'm just gonna say it was eight to 10, so I'm gonna block out the eight to 10 time. 
in gray. Ooh, that actually looks really nice. Oops. So here we go. That's fine. We'll just go back over those little spaces. I don't like the way I did that, but that's okay. Then tomorrow I have an exam from 1 to 3. So we're trying this a different way. We'll go down. 1, 2, 3. Going a little in an actual block that way. Kind of looks like a square. I don't know, we'll fill in the middle. That was a little bit better. A little bit better. Then the next day is also 1 to 3, so we'll do another block. Oh my gosh, if I could really just like write straight, that would be lovely. But apparently, I mean, I can't even do it in real life, so I wasn't expecting to be able to do it on camera. But, you know, it's part of the fun. So I'm going to check the back page for bleed. Look at that. This paper is great. It's Tomoe River. It doesn't bleed at all. So, oh, awesome. And then on Friday, my exam is from 8 to 10. Or on Thursday, sorry. My exam is from 8 to 10. So I'm going to black out the 8 to 10 over here. So, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. And then... The 10 o'clock, oops, one over 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and then here, and then we'll fill in the rest. I actually kind of like the gray. All right, I'm gonna fix this a little bit. This edge bothers me, it's a little bit better. All right, so the first one wasn't great, but the subsequent ones were a little better. All right, so now that I've blocked out those times, I'm gonna let that dry, and I'm going to set up my panels. So First, I'm going to take my ruler and I draw just one straight black line across the bottom here at the 8 o'clock mark, like I was saying. So this is going to be my first mark. I just use this as a straight edge. I'm not really measuring anything, so this is literally just a straight edge. Alright, so I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to go straight across this line right here. Yay. Okay. I'm going to do it on the other side as well. Um, okay. A little bit particular when it comes to the lines. I just like them to look very crisp. And it's also why I don't use a lot of color, because I find that a little bit, like when the color is too much, it gets a little busy. I'm more like a form or a function over form kind of person rather than trying to make it a little bit too pretty. So then over here on this panel, I'm going to set up my headings. So I usually do um, two blocks of a line, and then I write the heading name, priorities, and then another two block line. And then I just go off, since it's a little thin, I can kind of see where I wrote, so I just go off where that is. Two block line here, and then we'll do secondaries. And then here at the bottom, two blocks and then adulting which where we is where we do all the fun stuff and then down here is for fun which is even funnier okay then I do the keep in mind in the last two boxes on the weekend so here I just like kind of just draw a line straight across and then I just write keep in mind and then I'm just going straight across and that's like good for that week so now that um, this is dried I'm going to take my blue pen and mark in my exams for this week in the gray boxes so this first day I had a legal medicine exam so I'm just going to write legal oh the blue looks nice against the gray legal medicine and then tomorrow is general surgery general surgery two then the following day i have radiology so that just goes in the middle because it's one word and then my last day i have a medicine two exam so medicine two all right so that's how that looks so far i hope everyone can see that nice okay so now i'm going to refer back um to these priorities and i'm going to check um, what I need to do this week. So if I look forward in the week, I see I have BLS training, I have an event on Friday night, and there is no class over here because I don't have an exam. And then I'm trying to think of like things that I would need to do. So my first priority would be that I have to make sure I have my BLS training materials. So I'm going to put print 
BLS material. And then I also want to check, this is just some academic stuff, check bulletin boards for new schedules because I want to make sure I have those notes and then get notes printed. Okay, so then for my secondaries, I'll have like um, things that I can wait for. Um, so for example, check articles because I am an editor for our paper. Um, print quotes also for the editorial. And then contact debaters for my debate team that I coach. And I'll also have to write make training program. So that's something I can do in my spare time. Thought of something up here, mail letters. I love writing letters by hand. So that's something that I enjoy doing for fun. And it's something that I really like. So now that I have this time during the day, it's really a lot easier to get to the post office since most of the day I have classes all day long. And then another last is create study schedule and find notes. And then for adulting, pay electric. And then for fun, I'll have film review, get blog, which is the written version of this blog online. And then finally, for my keep in mind, I ordered something online. I'm waiting for it to come in. I'm super excited about it. So I'm just going to write um, cash for Lazada order. And then um, I'm the administrator of Bullet Journal PH, which I know you guys know. But I also have a bunch of people on deck for our new support local PH segment. So I'm going to say um, check support local um, sellers and then in here I put reviews follow up okay and then after this I just like to look over my week um, for example for BLS training I know there's a time so I'm gonna put 7 a.m. to 12 30 p.m. And then here, I also know that I have a dinner. So that's where I'm gonna grab my purple pen, which I didn't put out, but it's right here. So this is another Uniball Signo DX. I'm gonna take that and put um, dinner. That's gonna be at eight o'clock p.m. And then I'll say where it is. Yeah. Nice. And then today, I have like a, a lunch, so I'm gonna say lunch with Demi, my friends, and other than that, I pretty much have planned out my week with you. As the week goes on, I like to add things in. So for example, if I find out that, oh, I want to go to dinner this day, or we have another scheduled meeting, I'll put that within the weekly. And then what I do is I'll go to my dailies, and I'll just show you a finished daily. And I'll add that stuff in here. Those are just these are just notes. I'll show you guys my. I'll do a flip through sometime. So, I put in like specifics about each topic. So, for example, if it says that I need I have an exam, so I'll put read for exam, and then I'll put each topic that they need to read down here. I'm gonna do that for almost every subject. Um, just I leave myself reminders. I like to make sure that I have a get ahead section where I can read ahead. And, you know, for the most part, like just little reminders here and there. So that's how I use my daily pages to supplement my weekly pages. As far as the monthly pages go, which I can give you a little bit of a peek. They're over here, also marked with a book dart. The monthly pages I use for future planning and pre-planning. So if I know that um, I have an event coming up, like for example, I have Saturday, last Saturday I had TEDxUST. So I will write that into my monthly right away as soon as I know. And then that week when I plan... I'll flip to my weekly for that week, and I'll write it in TEDxUST. Um, likewise, if I if I know, like for example, the week before that I had showed you that's finished, I knew that I had all these tests coming up. Um, 
that will be the first thing that I do. I write them on the tops of the pages so that I know what I need to prioritize and how to study best for that week. The decorations come later, usually when I'm bored in class. Um, I just rip a piece of tape off and I try and stick it and make it a little more colorful. But so far I like the way that this week looks. I may use some stickers, I may not, but I'll definitely let you know. Um, so let me know how you guys plan your week, let me know how you like this, and thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Paula with Grey Matters Blog. Happy planning! Bye!